Example in design of a chip shift transformer. In the previous video, we have presented the basic theory of designing chip shift transformer. Now, we are going to apply what we have said in the previous video to present a numerical example for designing a chip shift transformer. It is required to design a three section chip shift transformer to match a 100 ohm load to a 50 ohm transmission line with maximum reflection coefficient gamma m equals 0 0.05. Uh, in this case, Z load is 100 ohm, Z node is 50 ohm, and gamma m is 0, and this three section, so in this case, the value of n is 3. The general formula that we have obtained from the previous video is the reflection coefficient of n section transformer is 2 e to the power minus j n theta multiplied by gamma naught n theta plus gamma 1 cosine uh, n minus 2 theta and so on. And it should be noted that uh, the transformer in this case is symmetric such that gamma naught equals gamma n and gamma 1 equals gamma n minus 1. So effectively the solution of this equation will introduce only half of the reflection coefficients of the required or the required reflection coefficients. Uh, so in our case n is 3 so it is required to obtain four reflection coefficients from this equation we are going to obtain only two and the other two will be obtained from the symmetry. This would be equated by uh, the corresponding Chebyshev polynomial of order n. Here n is 3. So it would be a e to the power minus j n theta t3 6 theta maximum cosine theta. And as we said before, the magnitude of a would be equal to the magnitude of maximum uh, allowable reflection coefficient. So a here is 0.05. Alright, for the case of n equals 3, this equation can be presented as gamma theta it would be 2 e to the power minus j, n here it would be 3 theta, multiplied by gamma naught cosine n theta cosine 3 theta, plus gamma 1 cosine 3 minus 1 theta. And we have only these two terms, because we don't have cosine minus theta. Right? So these are the only two terms. Actually, we have four terms. We have gamma naught, gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3. Right? Gamma naught equal gamma 3. And gamma 1 equal gamma 2. From the symmetry of the problem. So we are going to determine gamma naught and gamma 1. And from gamma 1, uh, gamma naught and gamma 1, we are going to determine gamma 2 and gamma 3. This would equal the amplitude A multiplied by e to the power minus j3 theta, Chebyshev polynomial t3 of 6 theta maximum cosine theta. Right? As we said, the magnitude A equals gamma m, so A equals 0.05. And theta m, it can be determined from the relation 6 theta maximum equals cosine, multiplied, cosine of 1 over n, cosine minus 1 lin z load over z naught over 2 gamma m. The value of z load is 100 ohms, z naught is 50 ohm, gamma m is 0.05. So by taking cosine minus 1 of this value and multiplying it by 1 over 3 and taking the cosine of all these arguments, we can obtain that 6 theta maximum is 1.408. By inverting it, we can obtain cosine theta maximum is 1 over 1 1.408. So, theta maximum will be cosine minus 1, 1 over 1 1.408. From this, we can obtain theta maximum is 44.7 degrees. Now, 
we know theta maximum. From theta maximum, we can obtain the operating bandwidth of the proposed uh, mud section transformer. Delta F over F naught is 2 minus 4 theta maximum over 1. If theta maximum is presented in radian directly, we can say that this value over 1. Uh, because it is represented in degrees, we are going to replace by by 100 h. Alright? So the operating bandwidth in this case is 1.01, .01, or in other words, it is 101 percentage. So the bandwidth for this Chebyshev polynomial uh, transformer is 101 percent. Uh, it can be noted that it is much greater than the bandwidth of the corresponding binomial transformer of the same order. Uh, when we discuss the example of binomial transformer, uh, which was of order 3, 2, we have only 70% bandwidth. So, the bandwidth of uh, the Chebyshev uh, polynomial matching transformer is usually greater than the corresponding of binomial transformer. This can be explained because uh, the trade-off of the non-zero rebel in the bus band of the binomial transformer of the Chebyshev transform. In the Chebyshev transformer, we don't have reflection coefficient equal zero. We have equal rebel within a certain range. So we still have some reflection. So as long as we accept some reflection in the bus band, the bandwidth is increased. But in the case of binomial transformer, we introduce strictly conditions that there is no reflection and in addition, the reflection or the derivative of the reflection in the bus band is also zero in the bus band. So all these restrictions has reduced uh, the bandwidth of the binomial transform. Now we have determined the value of A and the value of theta maximum. So we can start designing the uh, corresponding uh, Chebyshev multi-section transformer. Uh, this is the reflection coefficient of uh, the multi-section or the symmetric three-order multi-section transformer. And this is the corresponding Chebyshev polynomial. Chebyshev polynomial of order three uh, can be approximate or can be given by sec to the power 3 theta maximum multiplied by cosine 3 theta plus 3 cosine theta minus 3 sec theta maximum multiplied by cosine theta. Now, by replacing Chebyshev polynomial of order 3 by this equation and equating the corresponding terms or the amplitude of the corresponding terms of cosine n theta so for cosine 3 theta here we have replaced it a multiplied by e to the power minus g3 theta this e to the power minus g3 theta can be eliminated with e to the power minus g3 theta so we have 2 multiplied by gamma naught cosine 3 theta plus gamma of 1 multiplied by cosine theta this would equal a multiplied by 6 to the power 3 theta maximum multiplied by cosine 3 theta plus 3 cosine theta minus 3a 6 theta maximum cosine theta now equating the term cosine 3 theta so the term cosine 3 theta here is 2 gamma naught 2 gamma naught equals a multiplied by 6 to the power 3 theta maximum. The value of A is 0.05 and the value of theta maximum is 44.7 degrees. From these values, we can calculate this value. So, gamma naught equals 0.0698. On the other hand, by equating the term cosine theta, we can say that 2 gamma 1 equals a 
6 to the power 3 theta maximum multiplied by 3 3, 8, 6 theta maximum minus 3, a 6 theta maximum minus 3, a 6 theta maximum by replacing a by 0.05 and theta maximum is 44.7 we can calculate gamma 1 as 0 0.1037 now we obtain gamma naught or gamma 0 and gamma 1 from the symmetry of the problem we say that gamma 3 equals gamma naught and gamma 2 equals gamma 1 so by this we obtain the four terms of gamma gamma 0 gamma 1 gamma 2 and gamma 3 uh, gamma n in general equals half ln zn plus 1 over zn so starting from gamma 1 we can say that gamma 1 equals half ln z1 over z0 and we know that z naught is 50 ohm so we can say that ln z1 equal ln z naught plus 2 gamma naught so here gamma naught is of ln z1 over z naught so we start with gamma naught gamma naught is 0 0.06 9 8 so ln z1 over z naught equals 2 gamma naught so ln z1 equals ln z naught plus 2 gamma naught z naught is 50 ohm and gamma naught is 0 0.0698 from this we can calculate ln z1 and z1 it would be e to the power 4.051 which is 57.5 ohms this is the first transmission line section z1 in a similar way we can say that gamma 1 equals of ln z2 over z1 already we have calculated z1 so we can say that ln z2 equals ln z1 plus 2 gamma 1 and already we have gamma 1 and we have z1 so ln z2 is 4.259 or in other words we can say that z2 equals e to the power 4.259 which is 70.7 ohms the third there or the third transmission line section, the last one, would be uh, gamma 2 equals half ln z3 over z2. Already we have calculated z2. So we can say that ln z3 equals ln z2 plus 2 gamma 2. Gamma 2 equals gamma 1. So ln 70.7 .7 plus 2 multiplied by gamma 2 which is 0 0.1037 equals 4.466 now z3 is e to the power 4.666 which is 87.0 ohms once we have obtained z1 z2 z3 we have completed the design of uh, the three section Chebyshev transform. Okay. All right. Now we have studied two different types of uh, multi-section transformers: binomial transformer and Chebyshev transformer. And we have seen that how when the transmission line sections are changed. Uh, smoothly here z3 is 87 ohm changed to 70 ohm at z2 and from 70 ohm changed to 50.7 57 ohm 
and from Z1 it has changed to Z0 which is 50 ohm. We are changing gradually from Z load which is 100 ohm to Z node which is the transmission uh, or the transmission line characteristic impedance. This introduces the idea of instead of using step changes in the transmission line sections, we can use tapered section. Tapered section such that the characteristic impedance of the transmission line section or the transformer is changing gradually. This would be useful to introduce instead of multi section transmission line transformer, we can use single table trans uh, transmission transformer and in the following video we are going to introduce the basic idea of table transmission line okay all right